memories of a holiday morning. For many people, those memories include trains, tracks, and tradition. Hi, I'm Michael Gross. Trains, both big and small, have been a family tradition of mine for generations. My grandfather worked 56 years for the railroad. He was a switch engine foreman, his father a boiler maker, and in college I worked as a locomotive fireman for the Chicago Northwestern Railway. As for the toy train I found under my Christmas tree, I still have that original tin plate set. Acting has been my profession, but growing up around trains and model railroading has left me with some wonderful stories. I've got other stories too about people like you and me, people who agree that model trains are truly the world's greatest hobby. John and I are the best of friends, and it's because of the bonding we've had from childhood with the model railroads. I don't think there's many father-son relationships as close as he and I. Dave Watson is a dentist. He has a wife, two grown kids, and a growing hobby. But it all started years ago when Doc Watson's young son, John, faced a challenge. When John was in kindergarten, we got a call from the school saying that uh, they had him tested and he, he had problems with his small motor control of his hands, something to that effect. And I said, I can't believe that. If he has a problem, we'll work it out. We'll do a little therapy. And uh, so I went out and bought a train because I was familiar with trains from my childhood. Bought a train, I figured he and I can work on that. If he can put the cars on the track and the track together and hook the wires up, and we'll... I say that should help him a lot. To help him, I wanted a permanent setup. So we put up some tables in the basement, ping pong tables or whatever. And then we went out and started looking for some more trains because we just had one train to run around the track. And we would go to rummage sales garage sales. The collection, the layout, and his hobby with John just kept expanding. The majority of my collection started out as memorabilia from my childhood. There were ex little accessories and, and scenery things and buildings that were all part of the nostalgia thing. And as I would see these items at a swap meet, I would buy them and put them on the layout. And it would bring, it would bring back a flood of wonderful memories. Today's sets are a far cry from the originals. Lionel was the first to popularize toy trains. You could say they started it all. Over the years, they were joined by American Flyer, Marks, MTH, and the rest. Most of these makers focused on O-gauge trains. That's the most popular size for toy trains. The latest features, both for trains and accessories, are pretty impressive, too. The trains that they're coming out with today are gorgeous. They're almost like scale models. They have uh, the engineers in the engineer's uh, cabin. They have little glass windows in them that they simulate the, the, real, ca the real cab. The steam sounds, the whistle sounds, and they're so close to the original. And it's, it's a wonderful uh, advancement. The Watson family collection took shape over the years, built on two or three father-son trips a month scouting for toy trains. I don't think I've gotten rid of a single train item. I know the feeling, Doc. It's just plain fun. When we come down to the house in the basement, then we just run trains like crazy. But it's because we're all there. And it's, it's, a, it's a bonding with, with your friends and your kids. And that's what I like about it. For many families, model railroading involves time spent in the basement or workshop, but sun and fresh air can also be a big part of the hobby. You can take your trains outdoors with garden railroading, and you can get everyone involved. Nowadays, families are so torn apart doing soccer or so many different things where they're in different places, barely even sitting down and eating together. So to have a place and a space that you are together and you're interested in doing the same thing and enjoying it is very important. Barbara and Andy Kahn say it's garden railroading that helps keep their family on track, the entire family. On this layout, the kids are very involved. The choice was, 
either be yelling at the kids to stay off it all the time so they don't crush anything, wreck anything, or build a railroad so they could play with it and learn with it and grow with it. And I chose the latter, and it worked out great. The cons even chose their house based on Andy's dream of a garden railroad. The design is based on Andy's childhood. I've been involved with trains since about eight years old when I got my first Tyco set from, the, from Santa Claus. I grew up on a farm, and so I wanted to have a farm, and I wanted it based in, I grew up in the late 60s, so I wanted it to be kind of at that era. And the layout also has a working economic base to it. We've got the farm for agricultural, and we've got the mine for coaling, and the lumber for milling, so I call it the three M's, milking, milling, and mining. Barbara made sure Andy's vision came to life. I will typically be adding my input about what Andy is doing <laughs> or enjoying the boys, enjoying the train. My wife helped build some of the buildings and helped paint the buildings and most importantly she'd come out and wouldn't have to say much but just by her expression and stuff I knew if something looked right or looked wrong. Combining the garden with the train was like um, the best of two worlds because I love gardening, I love digging in the dirt and it's it's a way to combine gardening with trains and making everything bigger and come to life. Garden Roading gives you the added challenge of not only picking plants and trees that work with your railroad, but also nurturing them and getting them to grow. Everything's growing, everything's changing, it's very dynamic, and that's what makes it really interesting. What's most important about the Cons Railroad? Quality family time and a learning tool for growing boys. I think with the train, they feel they have so much power because it's a whole community that they have control over. And I mean, every aspect of it. So, so they get very interested and very involved. And it's not only their imagination, but also um, seeing how the community works together. Garden railroading is great because it brings everyone out in the yard where everybody likes to be. And you all have different levels of input and activity. Watching them be creative in the layout is just amazing. I've had fun all my life with model railroading. Truth be told, my wife and I even bought part of the old Santa Fe Railway and turned it into an independent short line hauling passengers and freight. You don't have to go quite that far. But model railroading is a great way to get the family together, share some great experiences, and to have fun. After all, it is the world's greatest hobby. If you would like to learn more about the world's greatest hobby, check us out online at www.greatesthobby.com or call the world's greatest hobby hotline at 1-877-426-5082. It's never been easier to get started. Visit your local hobby shop, pick up some books or magazines, and find out when the next train show comes to your area. Have fun with the world's greatest hobby.